Hi guys, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's a Friday. It's a good Friday, and uh, I am just want to do a quick demo to show you guys how to create this beautiful sea turtle car. I haven't done. <laughs> I haven't done this live video. I don't know why they just keep changing. They just keep changing the setting. I'm not even sure I am connect. They say it's excellent connection. Everybody online. See our oh, subscription. Chat view Hi guys, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Anybody online? I'm running a test. Am I? Am I live? Hello? Anybody home this afternoon? Can everybody hear me? Send me a message. Somebody click like. Must be somebody is watching. I don't know. Today is a holiday, so. I just want to know is my um, sound system okay? It should be live. So there is two viewer. Hello, anybody online? If you're online, can you? Oh, hi, hi. Can you hear me, Susan? Michelle, can you hear me? Is my voice okay? I don't know the program I'm using. They just keep update something and then some I I just have to reset all the stuff. Can you guys just leave leave me a fast uh, message? Is my voice okay? Oops. And I'm going to just do a quick demo. Hi hi, you can hear me good. Okay, everything's good. 
Okay, so I know today is a Friday. You guys probably got a lot of things to do. I just want to do a quick demo um, by using these uh, sea. Uh, I mean the under underwater explode. Just a quick demo and tonight is actually movies night. I'm going to watch, we are going to watch King Kong and the Dinosaur. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay, if you are not uh, um, available now to watch the live video, you can watch it uh, replay later. So I just have a 30 minutes gap and I just want to share with you guys a quick car how to create this card. So let me just grab my image here. How's everybody doing? Okay, so this is a card. I'm going to share with you guys how to create it. It's so easy. And if you haven't got a chance to take a look at my other video, I did a lot of video. These, uh, these two are the latest video I created last night. If you haven't watched this one, just go to um, Local King Rubber Stamps YouTube channel and then you can watch uh, the last video. That was the last video I create. So I have a six circle combo set here available. This is the butterfly one and then it's a hummingbird. Okay, so because the promotion is going to end today, I just want to do a quick uh, demo to share with you guys uh, how to use those. Okay. So those are the cards I create. I'm sure you guys watch all of them, right? <laughs> okay, and this one. Leave me a comment, let me know which one is your favorite set. So now we are going to create this card. It's very, very easy. I'm going to show you how to extend your background because uh, local green rubber stain background is like an A2 size. So sometimes you want to make a bigger car what are you going to do so i got at least uh, uh 65 uh, pounds car stuff from michael's they are actually have a lot of a nice uh, pretty car stock and i am going to share with you guys some great tips how to uh, enlarge your your uh, in, enlarge your image so this is uh, the ocean wave background and uh, i am using this uh, versafine clara um, impact and i just love this impact because the coverage is just awesome if you don't have this kind of impact what you can do is you just use the uh, stamp positioner you can just uh, repeat a um, few times to get uh, like a full coverage so I just love these impacts. One of my favorite favorite brand. And then this size is uh, 5.25 by 5.25. And I'm going to just uh, stamp this way. Hi! Okay, so I'm going to just grab a, a scrap paper. Okay, today is today a holiday? Today is a good Friday, right? Um, all the bank are closed. Post office is closed too. And today is a beautiful sunshine in Vancouver. So I get it's a nice printed image, right? And then I'm going to do another half. So here is the tip you want to do. You are going to um, use a piece of scrap paper or uh, tape. I just have at least acetate handy. So I'm going to just uh, kind of use this acetate here and then I'm going to just use the reposition tape kind of secure this one so this ink is dry a little so, uh, slow but uh, I think it'll be fine and then we're going to ink again okay just gingerly pat 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 and then because I cover this acetate right so when i stamped it i'm not going to worry about ruining the the place i already stamped right so it's awesome tip and i'm going to just put on top same thing but to just use a uh, uh, scrap paper okay and look can you tell this is uh, um one um 
<laughs> this, this is one stamp. Okay, so that's how we do that. And then this acetate, when you use it, make sure the shiny side is on the top so it's easier to clean. If you put those muggy side on the top, I see I cannot really clean completely. So you remember use the shiny side up and then just uh, keep uh, for later. Okay, and then now we are going to, I have actually too many different kind of idea, but before I heading out um, to my uh, movie tonight, just want to show you one of the quickest way to do it. So this time, this uh, um, combo set, okay, they all come with two circle, and then I am going to just uh, put uh, uh, my sea turtle, somewhere just eyeball it to put uh, around the uh, middle is the volume good in my voice is good hi joyce find san francisco hi okay i'm going to just uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, short uh, i mean the live demo which i just decided to do in the last 10 minutes and i had a sound technique issue Okay, so I just run through the machine and then I die cut it. See, it's very easy to die cut it. And I have a um, nice uh, cutting here, right? See, that's a really pretty pattern. Okay, and then uh, I will, Joyce, I will come up with a lot of uh, other um, video to show, you, uh, to show you guys uh, how to use the... Uh, um, this is the wrong set. See, this is really pretty, right? But uh, I am going to do something else. So this demo is actually not going to take too much of your time. It's just a reminder that our pre-order promotion is going to end today. The free shipping is also going to end today around the midnight. Okay, so let's move this one away. Okay. And then I have at least a 5x5 five five, um, Maco cardstock. Um, this is another regular cardstock. It's a coded cardstock. So you can get it from uh, Marco's paper. I will put the link uh, below. So um, if you ha use a regular cardstock, what you can do is you can use the... Um, stand positioner to stamp few times okay so i'm going to just uh, do this okay because we're going to stamp so that's why i do this one and then i'm going to open the car i'm going to grab my sea turtle here and then i'm going to do i'm going to die cut one more time so what you can do is you can stamp first and then do the die cut. But because I want to have this beautiful layering, I found that if I just uh, stamping on the white card stock, the back is a little bit too plain. So I want to kind of uh, mix with my ocean wave background. So I am going to just uh, tape again with the reposition tape. And... I'm going to run through the die cut. Make sure you open your card. Don't fold it because that way you're going to cut through the button too. So just uh, um, put this one. I'm going to die cut it. Okay, a little bit noisy, sorry. Just in case I kind of run through two times, so I have a clean cut, right? And uh, don't have to do anything. Look, all the bubbles are already there, right? And then we can glue back like that. Okay. Okay. So we can glue back or we can stamp first. So we are going to stamp. So usually, you know, rubber stamp, you can do whatever you like. You can stamp first and do a die cut or you can 
die cut first and a stamp. So now we are going to stamp it. So I am actually using uh, the markers to color then. So I going to just use a few, not too many. I usually use a full color, light, medium, dark. Okay, and I'm going to just bring a little bit closer. My remote control is out of the battery. So I don't want to color my bubbles, okay? I only want to color my sea turtle. Or oh, if you want to color bubble, you can color bubble too. I kind of want to leave my bubble white. So I'm going to start with a light blue and do a little bit darker blue. And I'm going to do a little bit brown. Okay, you can use any kind of water-based markers. They will work just fine. Going to give a little bit eyeshadow and there's some dotting here. These markers are awesome. You can use it for blending, anything you like. So that's uh, what's look like. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, put my die cut directly on top. Because the image is not really complicated, so I think I can do it. If you're worried, you can just stamp first, so that will work too. Okay, I'm going to just rub, rub, rub. Ready? Ta-da! Look at my sea turtle. Okay. And then if you want to color the bubble a little bit, you can do it, but I want to leave my bubble white. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, flip over and I'm going to use the uh, invisible tape, the inexpensive tape um, from the dollar store. Those are the tape that you use for wrapping your gift. So I'm going to just, see, you cannot really see that tape, right? Let me just do a little bit more smooth, right? Just a full corner. Few, okay. So those invisible tape is just a stronger. These, uh, um, this uh, design is perfect to do the shaker car. So I will show you later on how I'm going to do the shaker car. Okay, see? That's really pretty already, right? And let me just... Uh... Okay, so see the local king's die cut is right next to the stamp image. It doesn't really have a, that white border, but sometimes it's you have a little bit white if that bothers you here is what I will suggestion to do is I have a uh, some those uh, makeup uh, applicator I actually just uh, got some yesterday from the dollar store if you find the light color one is great because you can see the color right if you can't find the um, lighter color one, this is what I do is uh, like uh, this is the black and I just uh, use the tape, kind of just uh, do a mark. So that way I know this side I use pink, this one I use green. So, but try to find, the, and then this is only $1.50, but it's Canadian dollars. So. These are how many? 20. 20 and then you have a 40 head. I think that's good. They are um, okay to do the small work. You cannot really soak them in the water or clean them because they won't last uh, too long. So I have a blue here and I'm going to just grab a blue, darker blue color or brown. Let's do the brown. This boo boo is under under my chair. I don't know why he likes to stick his head right under my chair. So if I move my chair, he's going to be in the big trouble. Okay, so this one I use blue and this I'm going to use brown. 
okay and because the color I can see it so what you can do is you can use this one to just uh, give a little bit touch up it's already I don't really have that white border but sometimes it's still have a we just want to give a little bit shading okay even for the this uh, white bubble if you want to give a little bit color oops. try to use the one applicator one color if you want to give a little bit color you can do that too but because it's a I kind of want to leave a white so it comes just uh, blending a little bit on top okay and then we are I think I need a one more small take in the last but list last but last so here is the uh, my turtle and then you I kind of feel like a I want to more standing up but some people might say so where are you going to write your message you can write here you can write it back so if you want to put something in the back i think if like a whole page is too dark or you can use those uh, um white marker anything you like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one circle here did you find my circle <laughs> a little bit is missing but i don't who cares okay and i just do these and i close Ta -da! Ta -da! so not bad huh very quick uh, um quick quick uh, quick car here so what do you think okay so this is i'm um, just try to um i have a uh, two more that I haven't done the demo yet. You know, now it's 4.30, I have another 15 minutes. How about we do one more coloring? This Pika is so pretty. The idea um, is just like this, and I will definitely uh, working on the different kind of style to show you how to do it. But uh, let's do one more coloring. This Pika is also a very, very pretty design. Hmm, I wonder who designed it. That would be me. Okay, let me find my color block. Like I say, you can um, use your stamp positioner and uh, round out which one you love the sea turtle. This is sea turtle. Yeah, who doesn't like a sea turtle? I think sea, sea turtle is so awesome. And then, but. Uh, I think uh, the blue jay is also kind of unique in the butterfly and the same thing you kind of be creative sometimes you probably only need that sea turtle you, you can just use a portion of that and then where is the hummingbird hummingbird the hummingbird actually I think is number one Sell, I mean the individual most of the people they bought a the whole set because uh, that's the best price but uh, I um, the hummingbird let me show you the hummingbird hummingbird set is actually I think it's uh, it's the number one sell let me show the which hummingbird and I'm going to show the pika I think this hummingbird is the number one sell so far Okay, that's to do the pika, and uh, I am going to also use the the code cardstock. So I have another fifteen minutes, and I'm gonna watch King Kong and the Dinosaur today. Is it kind of not my movie, but why not? It's the Friday. 
Good Friday. Good Friday. Okay, so I am going to also make a square car because um, what? But the A2 size is not bad, right? So this kind of design actually have a two different pattern. One is a kind of like a blue jay. They have a, the main character and the sunflowers. But the one is like a, or sea turtle, butterfly. Um, the the outside like this leaf is kind of I designed it to keep it plain like the bubble. You can color them. You can do the green color. You can do whatever you like. But I will um, working. On few other um, idea to share with you guys how to do it so that's just do a quick coloring or pick up and then remember if it, this is the shadow stamp remember if the first time when you use the shadow stamp use the same block or the nail I have a very cute one the nail file nail file to sending your um, surface. So this way will help them take ink much better. You can give it a try. You don't have to do every single time. Just uh, like the stamp that you haven't used for a while or the stamp that you use uh, um, like a lot of stays on the, the, the ink deposit on top. So the same thing, it definitely, make sure my fingers are clean. The same thing, it definitely um, helping um, you get a better image. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pick up. We are going to put all the beautiful color. Usually I will just do like a three, four color, but today that's have some rainbow color, why not? Okay, good paper is very important. <laughs> yeah, the die cut should arrive on the April 1st. They supposed to arrive uh, on Wednesday, 26th. But I think the um, the custom was so busy, so they are delaying. But it has been released, and uh, it will be here on um, April first. I had the, all the stamp made already, and uh, I'm just read, waiting for the die cuts, all right? And I will have them out. Okay, so I just do the rainbow color, and. Uh, let me do the rainbow color first. I'm going to show you how to blending. Okay, make sure when you color, okay, no gap between color piece by piece. So I'm even put a little bit green. Okay, you don't have to work very fast. I think um, it's good enough. It's the, take your time. Okay, so yellow and the red, I use, uh, or, sorry, orange and the red, I use the orange to blending. Red and the purple, I use the red to blending. And the purple and the blue, I use the purple, just a little bit blending. And I am going to put some magenta on the top of his uh, head. And then I have... Um, this is a Mongolia. I am going to do the. Um, let's do the pink. I love uh, Mongolia. Those are beautiful flower. But the only one thing is their flower life is just too short. And after the flower is uh, is uh, and then those flower because the petals are so big, it actually costs a lot of work. You have to spend some time to cleaning. Okay, so don't worry about the detail and I have the brown cover all the branch here. Okay, if you are, um, if you need a little bit time to coloring, so that is a good idea to use a stamp positioner. So in case if you miss the one or two spot, you can go back to fix it. But I will just... Uh, um, just do this way or if you have a regular car stock it's a good idea to use a stamp positioner so that way you can get a better color I'm going to just give a little bit black light on the eye a little bit on the beak just some dotting a little bit and then also some touch on the feather 
if you want to, we can do more blending, but I think uh, that's good enough. Let's do a little bit. And then you can use any kind of water-based markers. They will work just fine. Remember, water-based. You cannot use the alcohol markers because the alcohol, mar uh, alcohol markers dry too fast. Before you stamp on the paper, they already dry on your stamp. So you're going to end up having a lot of a colorful rubber stamp. So you don't have to have or anything. When you put on top, make sure there is no air bubble. Okay, I'm not sure there is an air bubble or not. So I am going to just press a little bit her oh did i move it ah damn it i move it but the color is so pretty i'm going to do one more time ja. see the color is so pretty but i'm going to do one more time i forgot i'm using the matte coat card star so they don't really stick if you use a clear i mean the glossy card star they stick, so I was the uh, I was uh, going to turn over, kind of rub a little bit on the back, but you can see the color is really pretty, right? Okay, let's give this one to my sister-in-law. Say, oh, it's a special design. <laughs> okay, let's do one more time. Okay, remember when you color your stamp, okay, keep your stroke follow each other. No gap between. You are so sweet. Okay, and then we do it be red. And then we do the purple. Okay, remember the stroke follow each other. No gap. Don't try to swirling. Okay. You try, you know, it's going to look awesome any color. Okay, and then we are going to do a little bit green. You can blending it or you can don't blending it any way you like. Just remember, I start from the orange. So orange and red, I use a lighter color to blending so they create more color. Red and purple, I use the red to mix with the purple. And then the other one, we don't really have to worry about it. Okay, and then we're going to do our um, Mongolia. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. It's a little bit blurry. I should then move. Okay. I was going to robbing from the back, but I forgot I was using the regular, not regular, the Maco car star. They are not as sticky. Okay, so do a little bit pink. So, very important, you got to make sure that you color the um every um color the whole stamp okay it's just like a foundation you make sure you color everywhere and don't try to working on the detail if you get a little bit brown on the flower it's okay you lose it it actually looks better so i'll give a little bit brown shading here okay and the touch up okay let's do a little bit on the he's a feather on the head black eyes remember when you color the eye okay don't just dot in here go over give a big smoking eyes a little bit on the beak okay and then on the tail I don't know can you see here the tail the eye is that the the eyes what they call we just give it a little bit black dotting Okay, so the stamp will do the job. Trust me, it's really the stamp that make a difference. Let's give it a little bit darker magenta. See the white color? I don't really worry about the detail. Okay, we're gonna stamp again. And this time, don't do, don't move. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Because when I put the stamp on top, I didn't check do I have an air pocket or no. Okay, ready? Wish me luck. Ta-da! Oh, I think that's beautiful, isn't it? Even though I'm missing a little bit circle, but 
that's okay we're going to die cut it so I think that's really really pretty color isn't it you know rubber stamp is just uh, when you see the black and white you can't really tell but the, when the color hmm I am having why am I I always can't find my stuff where did the where did my here here <laughs> okay see this is the uh, the black color and uh, I will definitely figure out a few other um, template to do it so let's open it and we are going to try to just uh, try to um, guiding with those uh, eyes here Okay, I think that's good and the eye there take a little bit time to line up I think that's good hey boo okay I'm almost finished boo boo you already had a walk okay let's do this I think uh, it should be good oh we have to make a guiding window do this, run to the machine. Okay. I will run two times. Just in case, because I don't like to like a poking. Okay, let's see. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da -da. Ooh, you can tell. Look how pretty it is. I think uh, with the gold embossing on the black cardstock, it will be beautiful too. Um, Perlax on the black cardstock. Sorry for the noise, background noise, or house is under the construction still. Look how pretty it is. And then what we can do is, uh, okay, see, I'm missing, I'm missing a little bit um, brown. So we can, I kind of don't want to use the, uh, I'm going to grab the. I don't want to use my markers because I don't want it too strong. So I'm going to. I'm going to just uh, kind of give you a little color. Thank you guys. I'm glad you can join me for this uh, live video. I don't know everything, you know, they just keep update, update, update. I, I'm old school. I'm not really good with a computer. Every time when they update, something don't work. Okay, so instead of I use markers, I kind of um, just uh, give a little bit touch out. Oh. See, this one actually all these uh, pikas, uh, they have a song. Is that pretty? Okay, and then if you want to do a little bit detail, touch up. We can... Oh, it's a few. Is it easier? Oh, I have something else to show you guys too. Okay. So, you see the back is easier to poking and you see here have a lot of uh, cutting. What is that? That's actually some extra feature. So, you get the uh, 3D already. So what I'm going to do is if you put some, 
I can just uh, give a little bit of chow. If you put some um, new wool like this, and then be, when they become hardened, they, they they will keep the shape. They don't collapse. So I just use um, my eyeshadow shadow applicator. Kind of see on the side. So if you want to stay like this, you just uh, put the uh, sun this kind of clear coat on top. New wool um, clear or like a diamond glaze or three dimensional glue. So I kind of use my this little applicator. Yeah. So it's totally up to you if you want to do that. Is that pretty? I think the Pika is really pretty too. So what else you can do is because they also come with another circle so you can do a um, darker color as a backing or I am going to just glue oop here is a little bit dirty so you can what you can do is you can glue back here and then seal with a piece of acetate and then you can make a shaker card so that's a, I think even just plain white is very pretty too. But this one I accidentally leave my rag on top. Okay, just pretend. You guys don't see this part. You can see this part. This is a perfect, beautiful car, right? Knock your head. This is a beautiful car. Okay, so that's today's live video. I am really um, happy that you can join me for this short live video. And uh, I will definitely working on other few, um, I think have a, one more, the well stance. I haven't done the video yet, but I will definitely uh, working on that. If you have been following my channel, you know the stamp that I design. I don't just use uh, um, make one car and then I go. I will keep using it. Um, I still use the stamp that I designed maybe 12 years ago and uh, and uh, they are still pretty good. Yeah, so hi show. So well, you get an idea and I think this one you can make a beautiful shaker car just a seal with a um, piece of acetate. Something like uh, something like this, right? So you wait, I have a this boo boo here. My car is there. So you put your main car on top and you seal the acetate in the back. You can see the acetate. And then you use the, um, the, the foam tape and it's a beautiful shaker car. It's a, it depends on who you're making car for. If some people you really like, you can that's do that. But I, I think just a plain white is a beautiful too. But is it after you in the back, you can add some cherry blossom like yesterday when I'm making this car I really enjoy this cherry, cherry blossom oh you know what since this car is already room let's add the cherry blossom in the back cherry blossom where did the cherry blossom go This cherry blossom is just so pretty. Yeah, thank you. If you guys can share the video, that will be, that will be great. I am just a little company. I don't do like a really promotion or anything, so people don't know me. But that's okay. I enjoy create a video to share with you okay since my car is a really boo boo maybe we try to fix it let me see if I can fix my boo 
So this is a, just a memento. Okay, let me see if I can fix my boo. Hi, boo. I think I kind of fixed my boo boo. Okay, I say boo and the boo boo papa. Okay, let me. Okay, you want to say hi to everybody? Okay. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. Boo boo. He's a great company. Keep me. Okay, I have to finish my live video and then I play with you later. Okay, so come on. No, no, no. Who? I think that's pretty too. Right? I think that's really pretty. If we remember in the beginning of the video, I was share with you guys how to extend your. And then I fixed my boo boo. How to extending your image, right? So now we are going to just use it. I'm going to just tape here. Just want to uh, <laughs> thank you. Boo Boo is really cute. Boo Boo is Hi Boo. I'm almost finished. Let me finish my, my live video, okay? Thank you for helping. Okay, so again, Folding your car. Oh, need to do also protect my back too. Okay, let's do this. See, you are learning the technique. And then you can try on all different stem image. There you go. So we get all the flowers here, right? Let's put everything away and clean my acetate. Where's my pika? What do you think? I think that's a really pretty too, but I think uh, these flowers are kind of take over my pika so we're going to darken a little bit around the the circle so let's use this uh, brown okay and okay this is a uh, uh, macro cardstock, so that means is that we cannot really blending this one. They don't really blending well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, tap in the middle, kind of gently brush one direction. Can you see around the ring is a little bit dark, and we're going to just gently one direction. Okay, one direction. Don't have to ink too much. We just want to darken. Um, around the circle so when I pop my pika back the pika will standing up a little bit better okay okay there you go and then I think now Isn't my pika standing a little bit better? Or the background also make a difference? You, if you put a, a darker circle, like a darker circle, I think that's pretty too. You still have a place to write down your message. So again, we are going to put our pika back here. And we're going to use uh, the invisible tape. 
just to secure some of the so invisible they're really invisible and they are not too is it the one you wrap your Christmas gift those is tape nothing special okay What do you think? And if you uh, ask me, say, hey, Lisa, this is some white border. I actually find that that border is kind of nice. I, if you uh, fit it out, maybe it's not going to look nice. But I think that flower is really make this uh, pop out, isn't it? If you want your pika more standing up, you can put a uh, circle. Like a... The sea turtle. So the sea turtle and the butterfly, those uh, um, pattern, um, it doesn't have a stem image. But the peacock, um, blue jay, and hummingbird, they do have uh, some flowers. Okay. Hi, Tammy. How are you? I was going to send you an email. And I said, I'm, I'm going to do a life, dem dem uh, life demo. I'm glad you joined me. Okay, so that's everything for today and uh, leave me a comment, let me know which set is your favorite set. I designed this uh, shadow, uh, not the cherry blossom background stem, I think it's uh, last year, the end of last year, I, and I didn't do the demo, but look at how beautiful this background it is. I think it's really pretty. And uh, I have um, the water lily is also a very pretty one. I guess I just have to create uh, more videos to share with you guys. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so busy every day. <laughs> you know this uh, um, video, it does set uh, take me a lot of time so now pre-order is the uh, finish is almost finished today and uh, I am going to have a uh, some break and um, but I will still continue to make a video to share with you guys leave me a comment let me know which set is your favorite set I already um, mentioned in my previous video my favorite set is this uh, Lily of the Valley so this is actually my favorite set which set is your favorite set and i can tell or number one sell uh, number one sell so far is actually the hummingbird the hummingbird is the number one sell but i think after after today's video we we'll probably change your mind this pika isn't pretty and uh, we can pop out the tail and then also, I have this one, it's, uh, um, it's kind of clear with a little bit glitter on top. You can put uh, like a rhinestone on top, or we can just uh, put uh, some glitter on top. I think it's going to be so pretty. I think I'm really getting old. My eyes, vision are getting worse. Isn't that pretty? I really love this uh, background stand. This uh, cherry blossom is just so pretty, isn't it? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. It's a quarter five, past five. I'm going to watch the King Kong and the King Kong and the Godzilla. I think it's a King Kong and the Godzilla. My husband's favorite. There's not too many good video, uh, good movie. In the mar on the market now, so I think the King Kong and the Godzilla is the newest, uh, video, uh, newest movie. And then the allergy season, my my eyes are so itchy. Hey, I think I did fix fix my boo boo. You guys don't see that boo boo anymore, right? Okay, so that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hoping I will run the live video again. And thank you so much. Um, to join me and if you have signed out the workshop tomorrow you should receive an email by now with the the link if you haven't please send me an email as soon as possible that that way you don't have the uh, access to join us tomorrow 
So if you are not joining us tomorrow, and um, I will do my best to share some of the uh, on the project later on after the workshop. Okay, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.